Hi everyone, this is Like You Kermit, and let's do this video with the two um, Webkids bullfrogs that Katie sent me. On the left side, we have Zeppelin, the bigger bullfrog, and on the uh, right side is Ditso, the smaller Webkids bullfrog. And they both have cute leopard green spots. <laughs> um, yeah, after all, didn't name him Jabba. He has really Jabba eyes, but I thought the name Zeppelin was just perfect for him, so I fell in love with it. And now his name is Zeppelin. So uh, in this video I'm going to show you some stuff that I found in the drift shop and also some things that I've been making. So uh, let's try it. Okay, first of all let me show you um, the two little uh, clothes that I've been making for my, uh, for my um, Star Wars figures. So I used to have my... Um, my 12 inch Obi-Wan figure that I found lately and I also, well this is my very first one, my uh, 12 inch Anakin figure and I've been making some cloaks for them because I thought it would be so cute in them uh, also I, I felt like something was missing about these figures so I decided to make um, to get the material myself and to try to make it like um, like for them and uh, well I have to say it's not bad. It's poorly made, of course, because it's the very first uh, time that I used to make such things. Uh, but I follow some. I followed some instructions on uh, online, and I made my own notes. And uh, after I did that, I could make uh, those cloaks for them. This is Obi Wan's cloak. This is the very first one I made, and I'm so happy it fits so well and it worked out well because I wasn't so sure that I would succeed. In, uh, doing this um, and he has a black one of course and they look so cute in them it really goes well with those figures like my dad say, uh, says it's like they are sold with those cloaks while they don't come with the cloaks I had to make these ones myself I might make another one for my black series figure so that's it for the figures <laughs> they just look so adorable in them and when I was on my way to get some vil to make the ropes for my figures, um, I found a little something for Vesper. I'm really sure you're gonna love this. I found this adorable wool figure. Um, and, uh, well, what can I say about it? It's a very hard plastic wool figure. It's just a toy, actually. And um, it's about 8 inches long. And, well, it doesn't really say about a brand or something. It's a random figure that I found in a, in a kind of discount and um, it's a very cheap figure uh, and very beautiful. It's just 1 euro 99 so it's just 2 euros actually. Um, but for such a cheap figure they did an awesome job on finishing and quality. For example the teeth and the mouth um, and the nose. So, unfortunately, this figure doesn't really have beautiful colors. Um, it's brown-gray and the tail is a bit slender, but except from that detail, he has a beautiful shape and he's, very, he's really hard. It's a very, very good quality figure. Um, and it's a female wolf. So, I hope you love her. I'm going to send her along together with your um, blade. I'll let you know once I'm ready to send your package. This is how it looks. And this is gonna be yours. I got one for myself too. Look. This is mine. <laughs> I made a loom band for her. She, oh, she doesn't really have a name. Um, but I just love the shape of this figure and uh, well, I never noticed they had wolves. I mean, I know uh, our discount here uh, had those wild animals, um, but I believe the wolf was sold out because I couldn't find it. And when I was there in that one, in that discount, they used to have uh, lots of uh, those wild animals. And they still had some wolves left. So I hope you love this one too. <laughs> um... And then I also found um, those adorable bunny ears that I've been using for 
um, my plushies that I've been using for Kylie that I'm probably gonna use tomorrow on our Easter party. So I just love them. Um, they're so beautiful and so well finished. I thought, first of all, I thought, well, um, um, <laughs> I thought they were bolt ears, but I, um, I, I always have been looking for dog ears like this, um, like pointy dog ears, but I can't find uh, any. And uh, I found this um, adorable uh, bunny ears that I use a lot. So, um, yeah. I'm probably gonna use them as an ornament to decorate the room or to put them on a plushie or something. And last week I uh, went to the thrift shop and uh, there I found some things, not so much, but things that I could use at home. So um, I'm going to show you that first. Um, so first of all I found this, um, it was a full bag of, all, of loom bands and I've been using some of them already. So that's why the bag is open, but somebody got rid of their loom bands. And uh, they appear to have been making lots of bracelets because I've been removing all the bracelets and here they are. So, <laughs> and also my German Shepherd right there is uh, wearing one of them. Uh, I never used to make those those ones. Um, but I don't know, somebody has been making them and got rid of them. So this is just a fishtail like I used to make. Um, There are some difficult, more difficult bands here. Thank you, Charming. I don't know. Uh, why would uh, somebody get rid of their loom bands like this? Um, probably because they couldn't use them anymore, but I can put them on the plushie, so. I could use such a little bag, because if I had some colors missing in this bag, I have such random colors that I can choose. <laughs> And then I found this uh, star-shaped My Little Pony bag. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, and I use this one to um, put all my German Shepherd figures in there. All my small German Shepherd figures and my wolf figure right there. Um, to, um, well, yes, it's more easy to keep them in such a bag because I found um, a big German Shepherd figure like this. Um, last time I found a sitting up German Shepherd and uh, well, it, was quite a, uh, it was quite big and this one is even bigger so <laughs> well it's lying down on and it's very long um, it's a beautiful figure um, he has beautiful colors but I think they could do a better job on coloring him I don't know uh, why they uh, always mess up these, the coloring of those those little figures and statues. Um, but in general it looks quite good. And this one was really damaged. See, I have been, I have been trying to um, repair it a bit for what I could do. Because um, it was such a beautiful figure, but I think someone um, didn't... Uh, take uh, good care of it because it was really as you can see it, were, it was covered with those little white spots because something probably touching or um, breaking the figure and uh, these spots got colored with a brown marker I probably have to try the black one because this is gonna be better and this is how he looks and he has no damaged ears this time my sitting up one has a damaged ear. But they go well together. Never used to find so much German Shepherds there, but the two only times that I that I um, had a look, <laughs> well, yeah, I just found two German Shepherds. And I used to collect them, so I'm really delighted when I find them. Also, they are extremely cheap. So I, I think I got this one also for two euros, so. But I love this one so much. And then the last thing that I found was also a little thing that I've been looking for. Um, it's, it's, it's the Ikea frog. <laughs> I named this one Constantine. Because 
I thought it was like a king name. <laughs> and I named him after the bad guy in the Muppets, most wanted. I love the guy. <laughs> um, in general, I love everything that looks like Kermit. So, um, this is the Ikea frog, and I don't know what's the name of the model. Let's, let's see what the extremely long tags. I was actually hoping to uh, to find one of these frogs, uh, but by the time I was looking for it, um, it was sold out in Ikea. So um, it was sold together with the long the long dragon. And yeah, well, in the thrift shop this time I found one. I didn't know I was going to find one, but I'm happy I found one because it has a cute little feature. You can put some stuff inside. It's just like a zipper here. And I've been hiding some stuff in there. More frogs! Crazy frog! And some frog figures. This one's a funny one. And he also has a cute little fly on his tongue. It's a toad, I believe, might be a toad. Because by that time, when they, when they were sold, they had like a fairy tale team in Ikea. That's maybe why they sold the dragon. They were also selling um, some castle stuff and all these things. Blah. And I forgot about one thing that I found in a thrift shop was this beautiful St. Bernard plush. Uh, I wasn't so sure about getting him because I used, don't used to collect them, but this one is a really big one and a beautiful one and a very realistic one. So um, that's why I got him. Um, and he goes well with my Labrador. I have, well next to Fiona right there, I have a black lab, but he's not visible from here. Um, and, well, I'm still thinking about a name for him. I don't have a name yet. But I want to name him um, after something cute and something furry, because he looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> um, and I gave him this red collar. Actually, one of, this is one of Kylie's collars. I was thinking about Baba <laughs> as a name for him, but I'm not sure yet. He's like a sitting up dog. And he's really big. Okay, so thank you to Zeppelin and Ditso for hosting this video. I think they just look so cute together. And Katie, you have no idea how much I love the frogs you sent me. And the red eye tree frog is right there. I really hope you enjoyed the video and um, well I, I hope you uh, you really enjoyed the stuff that was in your package. I hope you uh, will have lots of fun with them and uh, I really like your red eye tree frog by the way. Mine is right here. This is Snuggly and uh, well as you can see it looks exactly like yours and uh, just let you let you inspire by his big red eyes because he looks amazingly cute. I really hope you will enjoy him too. So that was about it. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!